spectacles. Spectacles. They're all the rage right now. And Snapchat has had a very interesting way of rolling these out using vending machines. Yeah, the first one was in uh, Venice, California, and the second one was in Big Sur. Both of them I wasn't able to go to, which I was kind of bummed out about. But then a guy reached out to me and he was like, hey man, I got a pair. You want to borrow? I was like, all right, Oliver, thanks for the hookup. You see, Oliver Alami, he's a vascular surgeon at Stanford, and he's always looking for smart glass solutions that he can use in the operating room. And he just happened to be at Big Sur. I was so pumped to get these that we high five, chest bumped, and fist bumped, and I was ready to get to work. So I drove to the office, got all the way here. I began to open these, and it was a very different experience. I mean, they come in this like weird two packaging, so it's different than most things that I'm used to. You open it, you have the yellow case that also charges the device, then the glasses themselves, a little booklet with instructions how to pair, legal mumbo jumbo, the charging cable inside, and a Snapchat ghost-shaped cleaning cloth. So much fun. The glasses are pretty simple to pair up with the phone. First, you just make sure your Bluetooth is on, you pull up your Snapchat QR code, and simply look at it with glasses and press the button on the side. The glasses then work their magic and connect pretty quick with the phone. It was super seamless, reminded me of connecting the Apple Watch to the iPhone. Just press a button and boom, everything was connected. The glasses themselves are pretty good quality. They feel sturdy and pretty well made. As for the look, two black glasses and two yellow circles. I'm not a fashion expert. And people will know that you're wearing Snapchat glasses because they, they look different, but, but they're not too different. Almost uh, kind of like a, like a status symbol. Like, hey, look, I got, I got these Snapchat glasses. One side of the glasses has the camera and the other side has the LED indicator to tell you the battery life and notifications of when you're recording. Even on the inside of the glasses, there's a small LED that's in your peripheral to notify you when you're recording and when the recording's about to be done. I thought these things looked all right. What does the general public think? What better way than to go and ask them? Are these pretty or not? Like, would, would, would you ever wear them? Yeah. Well, I just don't really like the idea of them for me. Are you trying to steal them? <laughs> Dude, spectacles. What do you think of Snapchat spectacles? I like them a lot. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, Snapchat's huge, and uh, you know, get basically getting rid of your phone almost. So. All right. that's all. Have you, have you heard of Snapchat by any chance? No, uh, You ever heard of, it's an app? Yeah, I heard of it, yeah. yeah. Right now it's recording me and it's recording you. Oh. What, what do you think of something like that? I think it's pretty amazing. Yeah? Yeah. Seems like, it seems like many people have heard of Snapchat but not heard of spectacles. Gregory, hanging out with Gregory, 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 Gregory! <laughs> Is it getting you? Yeah. Will you do something cool for the video? I like them. I'm, I'm, I like them a lot. So, spectacles are priced at 130 bucks. But what are people willing to pay for these? I'd pay, I'd pay a good solid hundred for it. I mean, given the, the tech and all that. Like something in the range of like 20 to 30. How much was this going for? It's going for 130. <laughs> Can I get a <laughs> coupon <laughs> for 100 dollars? Now the hardware itself is definitely big and different. But you probably also have memories of like. Google Glass and like spy glasses with a little pinpoint camera. It's different, but it's similar. But you know what's even bigger in my opinion? Is the circular video. Here's an illustration of, of what I mean by that. The X and Y axis, they're there. But I wonder if in the future they'll go into the Z axis where you can like scale in. That would be pretty sick. And it has, it has all the features that, that you know from Snapchat where you can like draw on the video, you can, uh, you can swipe for the different filters, and you can add emojis. You know what's funny is my wife, she calls emojis emojis. She thinks they're Spanish, it's just the cutest thing. My final thought on spectacles. <laughs> I think the launch of this product has been brilliant, whimsical, and light. I mean, they did a really good job. And from a, a company whose audience is young people, I think that's great. I really think in the future they'll look back in marketing classes and be like, hey, that spectacles thing, that was a pretty good launch. This is only the first version of the glasses. So it's interesting to see if these will be like the iPhone, where you know it started small in the beginning and then it scaled up hugely after a couple iterations, or will this be an accessory, more like the Apple Watch, where you know, you get one, 
and then it, it doesn't matter if you have it or you don't have it. Uh, maybe after a while you, you like lose interest in it and you, you're not using it all the time. Or is it like a GoPro where you're only using these when you need them? Whatever it is, I mean, that, that's a bunch of different analogies you can use. Either way, it's going to be super interesting to see how much of the spectacles these spectacles can be, right? And with that, we'll see you next time. Love you, pumpkin.